for England, his approaches makes his fierce as waters to the sucking of a gull. It fits us then to be as provident as fears may teach us out of late examples left by the fatal and neglected English upon our fields. My most redoubted father, it is most meet we arm us against the foe, for peace itself should not so dull a kingdom, though war nor no known quarrel is a question, but that defences, musters, preparations should be maintained, assembled and collected as were a war in expectation. Therefore I say, tis meet, we all go forth to view the sick and feeble parts of France. And let us do it with no show of fear. No. With no more fear than if we'd heard that England were busied with a <laughs> Whitson Morris dance. For my good liege, she is so idly kinged, her sceptre so fantastically borne by a vain, giddy, shallow, humorous youth, that fear attends her not. Peace, Prince Dauphin. You are too much mistaken in this king. Question, your grace, the late ambassadors, with what great state you heard their embassy, how well supplied with noble counsellors, how modest an exception, and withal, how terrible and constant resolution. 